So Fuck that, I was there, white mailed. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? Wow. Guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Zombie jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why yeah. don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? How about Where shut up? From? Uh... The motor end's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? We've actually made it pretty secure. I like that alarm system you made. That's pretty smart. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that Smoke. motor end. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. Um... I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, enough. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Well, it's kind Mom's of a bit different. I've been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? What's your mama's name, Bessie? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided Dad, my camp. Who are else. they? Fuck you. He just said we bandits. And you guys will keep it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh! Oh! Jesus! Oh! Oh! Waste of ammo! Waste of ammo! Shit! Asshole! <laughs> the world out here has gone to shit. Come on, huh. let's get to the dairy where it's safe. That's crazy. Sure, he ate the food, but now it's wasted. Seems that he's dead. You could have at least blackmailed him into doing some sort of dangerous run, food run, or what have you. Here it is, Saint John Family Dairy. I wonder if that. can see how we kept this place so safe. Number is actually real. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. <laughs> We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing. Generators and amps. Oh wow! You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. What do you mean had? Uh. We've got kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. Oh wow! You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. Free tools. I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. No, it's not. You got someone with survival experience to lead your group? You're looking at him. I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Wouldn't that be alive if I didn't. Safe like it is here. Mm -hmm. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Mm. Uh, We're whatever. Starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! No, not not moly, or moldy. Look at you, pig. Sorry. Oh God, you can't get stuff like that anymore. 
Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. But we, can oh, my. we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you... Good job, we don't have any gingers. Oh wait, she's a ginger. She's not a hungry soul. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take Good this. job, Ben. All right. See you later. Oh, bye. Just like that. See ya. Bye bye. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. Okay. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Um... They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. In other words, don't bring Larry to this place. He's the biggest racist. Then, oh God, just don't even bother. Don't even bother. What we got, oh, what's this? A swing? What kind of pansy ass swing is that? Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> uh, sure. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. To be honest, if I had a tour around a dairy farm, I think I'd probably spend most of my time on a swing as well. Either that or developing cancer, because both are just equally more entertaining than a fucking dairy farm. But hey, what do I know? This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size... This might make a good seat for the swing. Well, thank goodness there's a sort right there. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Nicely done, Lee. Nicely done. You did that with two strokes. One man wonder. Oh, one minute wonder. Okay, so now we need some ropage. Now, do I remember where the ropage is? Do I bollocks? But I will give you a little chit chat, Andy. What's what's up? We know what's going on. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Uh, no one fucks yeah. with us. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Mm hmm. I'm sure. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. You never know. Gotcha. So should I be wary of you? Should I be wary of Mark?
Come on, Mark. Tell me all about your you life story. We're enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why exactly. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? His intentions weren't high enough. <laughs> Explain Sorry, your shit. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. Well. Yeah. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. You're the one that did it, not me. There's Asshole. One. So that just seems Ugh. a bit overkill. An arrow Lee, and an execution. Dead. Come on, let's push it off. Gross. Really gross. Oh god. Do it, Lee. Do it quickly, quickly. Just pull it out real fast. Disgusting. Nice. Disgusting. Let's just push him away. Huh? No. Oh, gross, gross. Don't let it touch you. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Um. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Indeed, indeed. I was just gonna say nothing. Well, they seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. There's another one. Great. I see it. I just like how cautious he is when he pokes off the zombies. I'm the same way. If somebody is using a remote or a controller and they hand me the controller and their hand warps is on the controller, hell no! I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> Ooh, handy. <laughs> You're a very handy man. Oh, and he does it Never again. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. I know. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too. No, oh, shut up. Uh just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh having a good meal will be worth it. Oh that one. Come on. Uh... I think I see where they're getting in. Really? This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place. Let, so let's rename Mark Chris Captain Beyond. Obvious. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> well, n mm. think it through. Electrified fence, you're on the other side of the fence. Help here, Lee? Okay, on your head be it. Hello, JK, on your shoulder be it, I'm sure. Uh, Okay, let's do this. And nicely done. What just oh, happened? the fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence? What did I just tell you, Lee? Lee? Oh, God, Mark! What the? Get Get the Mark! Oh, Red Mark! Jesus Christ! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had the freeway. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. 